Hi, us pensioners have been denied our winter fuel payments. Result, death, suffering, all avoidable. And now, at the younger end of the age scale, there will be no lifting of the two-child benefit cap. Rachel Reeves, Chancellor Exchequer, second in the hierarchy of the new Starmer administration, has decided, for budget balancing reasons, to condemn hundreds of thousands of children to remain in dire poverty, eventually, as a direct result of not lifting the cap, to drag many more into that category. There was some expectation that Labour would lift the cap, but they are using the excuse of a fiscal black hole bequeathed by the previous government. To remove the cap will cost about £3 billion per annum, probably well under the amount owned by one recently deceased Mike Lynch. Labour have every intention of keeping everything exactly where it is, and there will be no shift in the balance of wealth and power. The October budget will see cuts to benefits, public spending in real terms, further immiseration for the submerged third of the population, who, should there be any unexpected glitch in the financial markets, this could result in absolute poverty and destitution for millions, swelled by countless others plunged into a void of hopelessness with no foreseeable way out. Should protest justifiably go beyond the bounds of passivity, as we've witnessed over the last month, that is where the Labour regime will find more prison spaces, construct places of detention, employ repressive law enforcement. They intend to maintain the status quo and reinforce the establishment of which they are now the pivotal point of. As a class, we must start presenting them with a real challenge from below. Five years of this garbage, dominated by these power-hungry, authoritarian, self-seeking representatives of the rich and powerful, masquerading as a party of labour and the working class, is too much to contemplate without giving serious consideration to the only possible course under such circumstances. Outright rebellion leading to revolution upheaval. This is the only desirable outcome for us anarcho-malcontents, and who knows, maybe fairly soon, millions of others. As I've stated innumerable times, it will begin on the streets, spread, and then let's take it from there. Bye.